much of it. Today we're going to have a brief interview with Jose. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Hola. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so nice to meet you. Could you introduce yourself? Tito, you're Sure. Uh, my name is Jose Manuel Torres. Mm -hmm. I'm from Venezuela. Venezuela. Right now, my home is in Spain. Spain. In Europe. Which yeah. part? Bilbao, the north. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. the, it's called the Basque country, the Basque land. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, basically, uh, I study engineering, industrial engineering in the United States. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to do a cryptography PhD mm -hmm. in Spain. Oh! I didn't plan that. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, that was back in 2003. Mm -hmm. I finished uh, 2007, mm -hmm. and then I spent a few day, a few years uh, teaching in the university mm -hmm. cryptography, mm -hmm. and then um, I set up some uh, businesses in like coaching, consulting, mm -hmm. and in 2015 uh, I met Bitcoin, mm -hmm. and since 2015 until today. I try to travel around the world, mm -hmm. especially in Asia, uh, trying to figure out um, where all this crypto economy is going. Mm -hmm. And then I usually travel to uh, Spain and Latin America to teach and educate the people mm -hmm. everything um, I discover here in Asia. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's my first time in Korea. Oh, and first I'm time. Okay. Really so how do you feel about Korea at all? Um, well. <laughs> the, 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 the first time, the first time I got here, uh -huh. um, I, I was very, I didn't know what to expect, mm -hmm. and and it's, it's a very, very fast country. Fast, yeah. Yeah. Uh, very people stay until very late at night. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> spicy food, very, very spicy food, and very friendly people. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, I I love Korea. Yeah. Thank you. So. In Spanish? We'll go in this one. Okay, okay. So, um, I am publishing the magazine. So, have you ever heard about it? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I, I really want to have the first edition in my hands. Oh, okay. And I think it's, it's, it's a good idea to, um, to have a magazine to um, educate the people with mm -hmm. the right information because mm -hmm. of course in internet there is so much information yeah, right. but you don't know what's right what's wrong mm -hmm. and it, for the people uh, cryptocurrency and digital assets and investment is something that is growing so fast yes. that um, it requires you to be on top of it mm -hmm. so I'm sure that uh, Madison that I is creating it's going to allow people to get the right information organized at one piece. So I'm very excited. Yeah, that's good. So what do you think would be good in, in the magazine? Like, well, information or... um, I guess technology is going really, really fast. Yes, exactly. And then uh, regulation mm -hmm. is going really, really slow in many, many countries. Yes. In Asia, it's probably going a little faster. So how about the regulation about that? Um, about blockchain or the Bitcoin in Spain? Um, it is getting there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, even though we're making progress on regulation, mm -hmm. um, the technology is going just much, much faster. Yeah, right. So, like everything in life, you have people who they're so enthusiastic about technology mm -hmm. that they don't want to wait. Mm -hmm. And then you have people who they, they need to wait for regulation in order to move. So, um, I think that this is a world right now for entrepreneurship, for people that want to create business, mm -hmm. that people that want to innovate, mm -hmm. for people that want to make mistakes, mm -hmm. and for people that want to um, just close the gap between technology and, and users. Mm -hmm. And of course, in a few years, yeah. very, very fast, we're going to see uh, cryptocurrencies mm -hmm. and a bunch of new companies all around the world. Mm -hmm. right. so what do you want to do exactly, like related to Bitcoin or like blockchain in the future? Or like, um, what do you mean? Like about the business thing. Like the development of it? Yeah. Um, see, I think blockchain will improve mm -hmm. drastically mm -hmm. what we understand as internet today. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, in the internet, there's a bunch of information, but you don't know what's, what's true and what's not. Mm -hmm. With the blockchain, and I think the, the competition in the future is gonna be based on trust. Mm -hmm. People are gonna try to go to companies mm -hmm. 
that offer trust in the data, yeah. that offer trust in the algorithms, mm -hmm. and also that you that companies that engage through the blockchain mm -hmm. the clients in the decision making. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna see how in the future it's not just about the quality of the service of the companies, mm -hmm. like comp companies like could be like Netflix or Uber or Facebook or WhatsApp or Telegram, many many companies. Yeah. It's not just going to be uh, customer service. It's also going to be customer transparency mm -hmm. and customer customer engagement mm -hmm. into the decision making. The companies that do that are going to be very successful. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay, so this is the last question. Okay. Yeah. Please send me uh, send us a congratulatory message about regarding to the Idol Magazine. Oh, um, I mean, for sure. Um, I, I'm actually came here to Korea mm -hmm. to um, learn and understand what um, Ida is doing mm -hmm. because in the Korean market, uh, you guys are educating a lot of people. Yeah. You guys are making that a, lot, a lot of Koreans mm -hmm. uh, see cryptocurrency as something friendly, something they can use. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited to learn how you guys are doing that. And then the magazine is just going to be uh, a tangible proof of all the things that you are doing. Mm -hmm. So uh, from all the people in Spain and all the people in Latin America, mm -hmm. I would like to send a congratulation mm -hmm. to uh, oh. the Aydan family for the creation <laughs> of the magazine. That's from Spain, okay. That's, that's, that's right. <laughs> so thank you, Jose. So we had a brief interview with Jose right here. So it was great to see you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.